Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in for another shave and this one's going to be a little different from usual. Not a straight razor shave today, but before I go into the feature product, uh, I'm going in with a the Wolfman WR2 0.85 gap that recently came back uh, having sent it out on loan. This is the WRH2 uh, regular length hollow handle. And nice to have it back. Uh, I hear there are new options coming, so we'll see about that if I'm interested. And the soap today is going to be, I have no, nothing indicating the soap, but um, it's a sample from uh, HD Shaves uh, Orbit from Noble Otter. And I smooshed it into this bowl like that. I guess a lot of people have trouble working with samples, but as long as you get the surface area in and really press it down, I think you can use this sort of as a loading, almost like a close to empty tub of soap, basically. And the brush, new brush in the den, the most expensive brush to date. Yes, this is the, uh, the Varlet ranger and it's a 29 millimeter alpine grade and i had uh, him put a a copper insert in this one just to give it a little bit of heft make it make it feel a little bit weighty and a little bit more like it was you know heavier durable and uh, this is the ranger shape um, and this is HD knot, not the extra dense knot, XD knot. I went with, um, HD because, uh, I've learned that I don't like brushes too dense. I do like badger, but I don't want too much badger and, um, to the point where it makes the backbone a little too, too, too high and I like to be able to splay down a little bit and get that luscious um, face lather. And this shape is very ergonomic. Yeah, and it has this, uh, this is the low light uh, matte finish. Well, and it has like a, a little bit of a, a rose, a light pink tone to it. It's, sometimes it's hard to see, but sometimes you see it. So that's interesting, but I went with, I'm gonna start wetting the brush. I'm running under warm water. Here's a little bit of a look. I've already used this brush a few times to get a get an idea of how it works. And just gotta say, it's been great. <laughs> big, big fan, instant favorite. So def it definitely shows a little uh, gelling. I'm gonna start loading. I've never tried any noble outer soap before. Um, I do get to smell them at uh, Pastor's. And... I have been most interested in Orbit and um, Tenor Ebony Black Tea Vanilla. But uh, I'm lucky to get this sample. Uh, Orbit has synthetic coolant, I believe. I know the winter weather is starting to fall. It really changed really quickly, you know? It goes from like 77 and then boom. Fifties, forties. It's a really light scent. Rose, I believe. I wonder if I'm feeling the coolant. Oh yes, I am.
I normally dip in my I normally dip in my bowl, but I'm using a bowl to load soap, so I'm just running the faucet for that. That's a weird cooling f effect. It's not like menthol burn. But go back to the brush. This thing is sort of like A plus. Absolutely, it's soft with us just just a tad, not not that much. It really reminds me of um, sort of like a J two from Walt with less scrub. And I don't know what it what maybe the the, the heft of this handle is contributing. But it's very easy to control and splay. I don't know if it has something to do with the lower density option. And it's just a joy to, to face lather with. Yeah, it feels like the heft of the handle is making the knot easier to control. And it's not like a slimy B10 type of gelling. It's absolutely manageable and very enjoyable. I can absolutely see why people rave about it, of uh, these brushes. And I think once again, oh. Gillette Silver Blue, second use. 0.85 smooth comfortable Yeah, speaking of, I think the knot is the, the real winner here. It feels like there was such high quality assurance uh, and put into inspecting it and putting it together. Again, it's not too dense. And that's what I like about it. Then, and it's the, just the right amount of gelling. Um, does not hog the lather. It's really aces in my book. Definitely on the expensive side. But nowadays, at this time of recording, you know, hand tied brushes, hand tied uh, uh, custom handles with hand tied knots are increasing in price.
and something like this is not too far off. Man. I already want another one. He just closed his uh, his order form or wait list or whatever. But I can tell you right now, I want another one. Yeah, I went with white because I, f I realized I didn't have like a white, uh, a white clean theme. I realized I didn't have something quite like that. I do still have the chubby too, but I'm not a fan of the knot. This is more classic, clean, um, you know, style, uh, just doesn't go out of style, you would say. Yeah, this, this knot is just amazing. I don't know if there's any sort of wild variance between what hair the, the the bash that he has or whatever that he can keep this consistent or he is just overseeing the quality going into each knot so much so it delivers this level of uh, excellent performance I, I cannot rave about it enough I can see why folks like get multiple wireless uh, and wireless brushes in their in their den. Check out a uh, John Shaves has quite a collection of these himself, among other uh, very in demand artisan brushes. This one I ordered in, I, I made the request, I think, January? Uh, didn't get a reply about the green light until April, uh, at which time you pay for it. You finalize your choice. And then you pay for it. I was going to go with, uh, originally I was gonna go matte cement in gray color. Then I was like, and then I looked into the, the collection and I was like, I'll go with more of a white, clean, classic color. I went with the ivory color. Very happy I did that. And then did not get any progress updates around maybe two weeks, not two weeks, two months later, around June, with about regular updates every month or so. I know he's been, you know, has health uh, concerns. So taking it easy, not pushing it. And ultimately pausing his waitlist at the moment. Or order forms. This cooling isn't cooling. It's sort of warm. It's like a radiant. Is it? It's a, it feels like you know you know like the icy hot patches type of feeling. I think is that. I know it's not the same but it's like a tingle but not cool yeah so i have I feel a little warm actually uh, anyway
and then September delivery, September shipping, and then early October delivery. So total turnaround time was about, I would say, anticipate 10 months. Worth it? Sure, not like I was in any, in any, break, in any rush to get another brush in the den anyway, but um, do know you pay for it months in advance, so it's not like you're paying it be right before it ships out or anything, if that's something of a concern. but. Overall, easily rocketed sort of straight to the top of the den in terms of overall, just a great brush. Just, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, it's just great for the way, what I like. The density is perfect. The amount of gelling, soft, just, just a tad of scrub. Um, the handle's great. Heft is, um, well, I added a little bit of heft, but I like it. And yeah, I just, I want another one already. But that's my overall thoughts. Um, very unspecific um, after maybe a week of use. So if you're considering one, maybe that will help make your decision if it's doesn't sound outright like a blatant ad, but uh, yeah, great brush. Thanks for watching. I'll resume straight razor shaving, and definitely have that in the in the in the rotation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.